Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm going to show you an alternative way you can create a bootable Mavericks USB drive. Some people have been getting that command not found error with the other method that I posted, so hopefully this will help out. Let's start off with a warning. This procedure erases all information on your USB drive, so if you have files on it, back them up before doing this. First, I'm going to eject the Time Machine backup drive and disconnect it from the computer so I don't accidentally mess it up when we're using Disk Utility. To create the boot disk, you'll need an 8 gig or larger USB drive and connect it to your Mac. Also, you'll need to make sure that the Mavericks installer is in the Applications folder. This file does get deleted automatically after an upgrade, so if you don't have it, download it again from the App Store and just quit the installer when it's finished downloading. Now open Finder and go to the Applications and right click on the Install OS X Mavericks file and select Show Package Contents. Click on the Contents folder and Shared Support and double click on the Install ESD.DMG file. This will mount the image to the desktop and open this folder. Now let's open Terminal. We're going to need to show hidden files. Copy this first line that ends in the word yes, and I'll have this command and the next one we're going to enter later in the description below. And note that in this command, the word finder starts with a lowercase f. Some websites show this command with an uppercase f, but that doesn't seem to work. Paste this command into Terminal and hit Enter. Now we need to relaunch Finder. Hold down the Option key and right click on Finder in the dock. Select Relaunch and now it should show hidden files. Then open Disk Utility. Highlight the main part of your USB drive and click the Partition tab. This will partition and erase the drive in one step. Next, click on the Partition Layout drop-down menu and select One Partition. And make sure that the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled. Click on Options and make sure that the GUID Partition table is selected and click OK. Now click Apply and Partition. Just note here that the partitioning will take a bit longer than you see in the video here. After that's completed, click on the Restore tab. Click and drag the secondary part of the USB drive to the destination field. Now go into the OS X install ESD folder and click and drag the base system.dmg file to the source field. Click the restore button and erase. Enter your administrator password if necessary and click OK. Once that's complete, go ahead and quit disk utility. Open the USB drive if it's not already open and select the system folder and installation. Next, delete the shortcut or alias to the packages folder. Select the packages folder from the original OS X install ESD and drag it into the installation folder on the USB drive where the packages alias used to be. This will take a bit of time to copy. And now you have a bootable Mavericks USB drive. So let's get back to normal and rehide the hidden files. Select the second command that ends in the word no and copy and paste it into terminal. Hit the enter key. Now relaunch Finder by holding down the option key and right clicking on the Finder icon in the dock. Select relaunch and now the hidden files should be hidden again. So let's boot from our drive. Shut down the computer and then plug in the USB drive. Hold down the option key and power on the computer. Keep holding down the option key until you see your boot options. Click on the USB drive on the right and this is what it will look like when you've successfully boot from this version of the bootable Mavericks USB drive. It's a little different than the other version. So that's how you create and boot from a bootable Mavericks USB drive. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. 
Subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.